Hi, this is Guillaume from ViewComfy, and today I'm going to show you how to use some of our advanced feature uh, when building a ViewComfy app. So in particular, I'll show you how to build an app like this one, where you can have a drop down here that links to uh, basically two different workflows. So in this case, I've got an app that uh, is just a controller app and uh, it's using either Canny or uh, Deadmap. And as you might know, uh, the workflow looks slightly different uh, depending on which one you're using. So if I go to my Comfy UI here, you can see this is my debt workflow. Um, the main difference is that it has a debt anything preprocessor and the model is different here using Flux. Uh, and the Canny one, as you can see, is the same one, but the Canny preprocessor and uh, Canny uh, Flux model. So to uh, combine the two workflow together, we're gonna need uh, this node, uh, node pack. It's the Comfy UI uh, logic uh, one, and it doesn't come with any dependencies, so uh, you don't need to worry when you install it about it causing any issue with uh, your workflows. So if I go back here, um, we're gonna, so to combine the two workflows, we're gonna need the two preprocessor. So I'm gonna add this one here, and uh, we're gonna need the two different uh, diffusion models. So let me just make some space. So here we have the canny one and let's get the that one as well. There you go. Um, we're gonna need an if gate. Um, actually, we're gonna need two if gate, one for the model and uh, one for the preprocessor. And let me connect everything together so you see how it works. So we're gonna say, uh, so you see on this, this if gate takes a condition and if the condition is true, uh, it, uh, it's gonna return that uh, this input basically as the output. So if it's true, uh, it's gonna take the canny preprocessor and, and send it to the instruct pix to pix And if it's false, it's gonna do the same thing, but with the dead preprocessor. So here, let's just make sure we uh, have the models at the right place. So the canny is true and that is false. So the same uh, same logic then for the preprocessors. And the model goes to the case sampler. Uh, and let's connect this uh, preview image here. So it's obvious what's going on. Uh, so now we need something that uh, sets the condition. So I tried a few different ways and the best way to do it is to the compare node uh, still from the logic uh, node pack. Uh, so this is what's setting the condition. So we're gonna be comparing two values and if they're both equal, this is gonna return true. If they're not equal, it's gonna return false. So uh, we from the logic uh, node pack still, uh, we're gonna use the string node. We need two of them and this is what we will be comparing. Uh, so I'm going to put canny in both here. So both are equal. So this is going to be true, this equality. Therefore, we're going to be using the canny model and the canny preprocessor. And basically, if any other, if we put any other value here, so for example, if we put uh, depth, then uh, this equality is false and we're using the debt model and uh, the debt preprocessor. So let's run this and see if it's working. Okay, so we got the, the debt uh, map, so that's good. And this is the output. And now let's see what happens when we put Canny. And click run. Okay, so we've got the Canny map. And uh, as you can see, the output looks quite different. This is what the, the Canny map does in this particular case. So perfect. So it's working like uh, we want it. So we can extract the workflow API and then go in the view comfy app editor. By the way, uh, if you're new to uh, view comfy apps, uh, I've got some kind of intro videos. Uh, so I'm gonna skip some steps here uh, and I'm gonna assume you've done this before. 
Um, so yeah, so I'm in the editor now. I'm just gonna drop the the JSON um, and give this uh, workflow name. So we're gonna need our endpoint. I'm gonna get that uh, from the dash dashboard. So save that. Uh, okay, so what do we want to keep now? We want to keep the, we don't want to keep the negative prompt. Load image, that's good. Prompt, yes. Then key sampler, all of that. Okay, canny parameters, I can keep them because they're useful uh, if you're using the canny map. All those load model uh, nodes, I don't need that. Okay, compare, we don't need. And now we have the two uh, string nodes, so we only need to keep one. Um, and this is where we're gonna kind of control how we're gonna control the two um, the two workflows. So save, and I can download that. And then I'm gonna do a bit more editing in uh, my ID, which is cursor, uh, just to uh, kind of get everything the way I want it to be. Um, so just some quick things about the view config JSON here, which I just opened in cursor. So you've got. Uh, if I'm just minimizing this, there's two components to it. There's the view config JSON and the workflow API JSON. Workflow API JSON, uh, don't touch it. Uh, view config JSON, that's what's uh, kind of rendering where you're describing how the UI should look. Then in there, you've got your input and advanced input. And uh, sorry, I'm just going to expand that. And then in each of them, you've got a uh, an object per uh, parameter in the UI. So here I've got the load image at the top, uh, that's fine. Now I've got the prompt, let me just rename that so it looks a bit neater. And uh, cursor knows what I'm doing. Uh, can keep the default value, uh, I don't mind. Then let's look at the advanced in input. So we've got the canny uh, settings here, yeah. That's good, cursor. Uh, let's call it canny setting. So that's a low and the high threshold. And then if I keep going down, okay. So this is the important one. This is the the string. So this is what's uh, being compared. Um, so yeah, control net select. That's a good name for it. Uh, thank you, cursor, as always. Uh, and then it knows what I'm doing because I've done it before. So yeah. Um, you need to change this value type to select, so from string to select. So this is how you create a dropdown. And then you need to add, uh, just as cursor is suggesting here, uh, you need to add a key, which is option, uh, with uh, two dictionary in this case, we see one dictionary per option in your dropdown. Um, so here I've got so you've got a label, so this is what the user will see, and the value is what's being sent to the node. So when the user selects canny, the node is gonna receive canny, and uh, same thing with that, uh, you could have this like, this would be fine, like for example, so the user would see canny control net, and then canny will be sent to the node, the equality would be true, and you'd be running the canny workflow. In this case, I'll just leave it canny, it looks a bit cleaner. Uh, let's put a uh, placeholder value, so canny is good. Let's save that. And then I'll just do one final change uh, while I'm at it. So right now, the control net select, uh, if I go back to uh, my app here, it's in the advanced input. So uh, I want it to be as a kind of the top here. So to change the order, I need to move it up basically. So I'm gonna make this as obvious as I can and just minimize the bits we don't need. Okay, so you see, uh, so you have the inputs at the top, the advanced input, and the input I have load image and prompt, and here I've got canny setting and control net select. So the control net select I want, we wanna move up. So you just grab this, this dictionary here with uh, all the information about that uh, UI element. Make sure you delete the comma and then let's move it all the way to the top. And now we need to add a comma, save, uh, and let's drop that back in the editor and see what it looks like now. And 
check the playground. So yeah, you got controller select here all the way on the top, then uh, load image, the prompt, and the canny settings. And here we have canny and death. Okay, perfect. So let's try to deploy that. If I go back to my dashboard, view comfy app, deploy app, just taking the same view comfy JSON here. Um, you need to give it a name. Okay, perfect, and deploy. This should only take uh, two seconds. Okay, amazing. And let's click on app here to see, uh, to try it out. Okay, so everything there. So if I load the, this image here and click generate, I should generate uh, use the canny workflow. Yeah, cool. So this is what we were expecting. And now if we try the that workflow, uh, the image should look a bit more like the images we're getting uh, in Comfy UI when running that one. Yeah, okay, perfect. So uh, we just covered how to create a dropdown in View Comfy and how to use the logic note pack to uh, root um, your like different part of the workflow based on the dropdown value. Hope you find this useful. Uh, if you have any other questions or uh, any inquiries, uh, please uh, ping us. Thank you.